you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. out the trending makeovers to spice up your looks. Let the pros take you on one fashion-tastic spin. It's a quick take of elegant simplicity and dazzling fashion glam. All eyes on it, we spot on it. Check out the latest fashion roundup as they hit the web. For more trending details on fashion do's and don'ts and the most fantastic pieces, watch Spice TV's Fashion 360. Nigerian American rapper Wale, aka Ralph, aka Falarin, aka Too Many, Too Many, Too Many, aka's, was out and about recently in Lagos. For the Martel Blue Swift's H-O-M-E party and it had so many celebrities in attendance including fellow brand ambassador M.I. Abaga who was the host of the night. Other celebrities to attend included Chewy Chu, Rick Hassani, Tools, you know a lot of people were in attendance and the MC of the night was Do to the tune which was very very nice. Now talking about Wale, he performed some of his nice tracks on the stage and he was joined by some famous friends including Wiz Kid, our very own star boy. Now, I don't know how it must feel every time Wale comes into the country because the kind of love that he receives. I mean, I was on his Snapchat recently and his Instagram stories and he was uploading constantly. He uploaded a, a video with tools, a video with Olamide, a video of Wizkid performing. And that just says one thing, that Wale is very much in tune with his Nigerian roots. And even in one of the videos, he was calling out Rotini because they had this alter ego characters that they do when they're in the States. You know, Rotini calls himself um, caramel something and Wale calls himself dark chocolate. So so he put up a video asking Rotini, like, where Rotini music at? Because he was just goofing around. And he seems to be having a genuinely good time. Now, I hope that Wale gets some inspiration while he is in the country to go back and make some cracking music. Because, to be honest, Wale's last album, even though I did like it, it wasn't totally impressive on the charts and the sales did not do well at all. And you know with the you know how Nigerian and Afro beat music is doing right now in the US. I mean all the biggest songs have some Afro beat fusion in it. Just think about Ed Sheeran, Shape of You and every other thing. And I think that that is the kind of direction that Wale should move in. Even though he did try to move in that direction with this album, with that song uh, My Love with Major Lazer and Whiskey and the song with Fine Girl with Davido and Olami Day but the album did not do too well. So I think Wale should actually spend some time in the motherland and he should try and reinvent himself and actually go back and make more cracking music because Wale, to be honest, is one of the best rappers and I hope that he gets back to the basics after he leaves the country. Yvonne Nelson is the cover star for WOW magazine's latest issue. In the cover story, the actress talks about pregnancy, her partner, and finding complete happiness with her baby girl. The issue was released on Sunday, which happens to be Yvonne's birthday. She shared the photo of the cover on Instagram and wrote, Wow, it's my birthday. The best year of my life. The best birthday gifts ever. Looking for a miracle? Just look around you. It's there. His presence is everything. Let's get you on the hottest fashion picks right now. This time, Prada's Velvet Cahier bag is taking all the color. Made in velvet and dripping with glam, the bags have a colorful ambiance and a chic feel that is sure to make any outfit pop. As always, Prada gives a cool boom with different color offerings and a going rate of $2,680. All that's left to see is if this bag will become a street style fave. Lee 
Sleek on the waves, sleek on the moves. The water boy is definitely living it up. You know, a lot of people know you for your style. Mm. What would you say inspires you? Who are your favorite brands? Style-wise, I just like being very original, mm. very organic. Um, I like prints, I like uh, vintage. I love trad. Traditional mm. attire is my favorite, most comfortable mm. stuff to wear. Tenny of DRB is clearing up a lot of air and we are talking everything. To be honest with that, like I think at the end of the day, what people didn't know about DRB is uh, mm. we were a group, mm. but we were all solo artists. So yeah. before we even dropped any DRB singles, mm. we dropped our solo singles mm. in, like individually. Yeah. So we were just lucky enough that mm. our first big song happened mm. to be a group song, which yeah. was Toying, as you know. So. Um, the honest truth is we're always solo artists, so yeah. at some point we were always going to go on to do our own projects and our own ventures and we all had different interests at the same time. Get the lowdown of the life and moments of Africa's young executive this Friday only on Fashion 360. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the exclusive segment of Fashion 360 where we bring to you people who are influencing pop culture in a positive manner. And on today's show, we have for you a fashion editor and a stylist all the way from New York City and her name is Shiona Turini. Welcome to Fashion 360, how are you? Thank you so much for having me, I'm really excited okay, to be here. Okay, I'm very happy that you're happy to be here because <laughs> you look very bright and happy this morning. Okay, so let's talk about uh, you know fashion and everything. Before you became a fashion stylist, were you always on the path to fashion or is it something that just happened to you one day or have you planned it for a really long time? I planned it for a really long time. I was I grew up in Bermuda okay. and I didn't know what area of fashion I wanted to work in, but I always knew that I wanted to move to New York and work in fashion. I just didn't know what job I could create from that. So it took a little trial and error. I started in public relations first and okay. then switched over to magazines. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's a, you know, turpsy-turvy type come up. Yeah. But it's fine, it's fine. Talking about, before we go back into the fashion questions, I mean, you've been in Lagos for a couple of days now. How does it feel? You good? It feels very hot. Have you had the Lagos welcome by any chance? I is your phone like... still with you? It is? <laughs> Your phone, phone, your jewelry, me, cash, cards, you good? Everything's still with me, everyone's treated me okay. in a really beautiful, welcoming way. Okay, the, okay. Let, let's not talk about the other welcome package that we have okay. planned out for you. We'll not talk about that on the show. <laughs> okay, back to the question. I mean, when you were in YSL, you worked with like a creative designer, Tom Ford of all people. I mean, how was that working with such an amazing designer? It was incredible. He's a Virgo like me, so we have like attention to detail, very okay. specific. But it's definitely where I got my fashion education and learned a lot about style and taste and also editing. Um, he's super specific and a visionary. Um, before Tom, before Saint Laurent, he was at Gucci. Okay. And now, of course, he has his own line. And it was incredible to work underneath like a visionary in that way. I've been able to, since then, work under other visionaries. So I styled um, Solange Knowles' Don't Touch My Hair and um, Cranes in the Sky music videos. And it was very much like working under Tom Ford. Like super specific, super direct, knows what they want, insanely creative. So I've been lucky to kind of be a part of those teams. And of course, we're lucky to have you right here on the show. Okay, guys, we're about to go on a little break. We'll be right back. Do not go anywhere. This is Fashion 360. Welcome back to the show, guys. We still have Shiona Turini in the house. How are you? Great. Still feeling good? Still bad. Still feeling good. Okay, talking. You got to work with a Sierra Fashion Book, and of course, you traveled to many amazing places. So tell us some of the most amazing places you've been to for work. Nigeria. Nah, <laughs> nah, I know you're lying. Um, one of the experiences that stand out is I had to go to Turkey when I worked at W Magazine. And okay. We had a shoot with Kate Moss and it was in a Haman and so it was really, really hot and we had to do like a lot of running around and um, we got to be on the back of like bikes to go through the city because the roads were so crowded and it was just a really beautiful experience. Okay. Like, the shoot turned out really well okay. and I got to experience Turkey so that's right. something that stands out. But I get to go to Paris every season for Fashion Week and it's one of my favorite cities in the world. Okay, we're going to talk about Fashion Week in a bit but were you joking about the Nigeria thing? Were you joking? No, I'm serious. No, I, I, don't, I don't believe you. Okay, so talk, talking about the Fashion Week, a GT Bank Fashion Week had just passed and of course you were in attendance. So what do you think about that initiative and how was it for you? 
I think it's a really uh, special initiative to support local designers. Okay. Um, it's really important for support to start at home. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer in that. Uh, because if you don't have local support and your home support, you it kind of stifles you and you're not able always to grow globally. Okay. So I think that what GT Bank has done to provide a platform and an audience by bringing so many people and editors and stylists from around the world to come and see local talent okay. is important and it's definitely special for the culture. So talking about local talent, uh, which Nigerian designer stood out for you and why? I really liked Laduni Lambo's show. Oh, I like the way you call that Laduni <laughs> Lambo show. Okay, okay. Um, I thought that it was very well edited, and she styled it uh, nicely. And I saw quite a few pieces that I liked. I loved the pants that had like a really high slit up the front. So okay. It was an interesting collection. She had about twelve looks, and I just thought she did a great job. Yeah. Any other notable mentions, or just Laduni for you? I, I love Macchio. Okay. Uh, she didn't show last night, but mm -hmm. just as a brand, I know her from New York, and I'm aware of her designs, and I think that she creates really beautiful pieces. Okay. Very well said. Okay. Before I let you, I'm just going to ask you this question for the culture. Is Nigeria a place you just come to if you didn't have any work, just to visit maybe, make a few friends? Have you made any friends, by the way? I've made so many friends. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Eating any local friends. foods, maybe? Um, I've had... A goosey like, soup. No, don't say small chops. <laughs> but don't, that's what don't I've Don't say small chops. I'm here for a few more days, so now I'm going to really experience I mean, culture. since you've been around, you've mm -hmm. had only small chops to I've, eat. I've had small chops maybe four times, so, yeah. I mean, I guess we have to change that. We're I going to, to, I'm going to order you a big bowl or something before you even leave. What's the one thing you think that I should eat before I go? Huh, let me think. Have you had pepper soup, maybe? I've had pepper soup, but not here. Where? I've had it like in Nigerian restaurants in New York City. Counterfeits. <laughs> no no offense, but I mean, it's, it's nothing like when you have it here. Okay, I'm going to have it. Locally made or that, not, don't go to a fancy restaurant and have it. Find one of those, uh, you know hole in the wall type places i'm gonna have it okay yeah but don't real don't don't then experience. then you receive the legal's welcome don't do okay. that don't, <laughs> don't do that okay thank you for being on the show thank you for having me i must me. say it was very fun chatting with you so do you want to put out like maybe a social media handle or business website maybe anything for people who don't know um for anyone who doesn't know me you can follow me at shiona t and that's actually how i've met so many amazing women here so far through instagram oh yeah fantastic, fantastic. so if you want to follow me get get to it just just instagram Tw yeah. No Twitter? It's Shiona T on every platform. Okay, Shiona yeah. T on every platform. Guys, we have to let Shiona go, but we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. This is Fashion 360. <laughs> She is the Boohoo Fashionista. Tonya Garrick braids it with a difference. Our poster girl for the short crop finally takes a turn for a life of long hours of braid life. And no, this doesn't come with a headache. Tonya Garrick chic tracks are packed full with love. And what's not to love? This bold earring moment on flowing locks might be the start of a new movement for Nigerian fashionistas. The longest part of me getting ready are these two things, my hair and my face. On the style radar, Tonya is definitely the screen diva without the body con slaying for Africa with her step out game. Yes, baby girl, for this and every stylish moment scored, we see you. Banang Mathiba has made history. South African's Queen Bee is taking it to the bank. I choose love by being love. There's something about love that emancipates a woman, like she can do and conquer anything. That's the power of love. So while we're here trying to get over how Loverboy rapper, AKA, forced out an astronomical 79,000 rand for Banang Mathiba's 30th birthday, South Africa has to shut it down for this one. A 
I'm sorry, no, we are not talking about the Gert Johan Coetzee showstopper that night. Please rewind if you can, but Bonang has made history as the first South African celebrity to get her own set of emojis. The set is named the emojis as a combination of the word Bonang and emojis. The emoji move is part of a massive campaign that will include the release of a book, a reality TV show, and a dedicated mobile app. Give or take, these emojis are now viral, and yes, you guessed right, the new emoji set includes her rapper boyfriend, AKA. Bonang now follows in the footsteps of US stars Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, Justin Bieber, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Lady Gaga in releasing the custom set of emojis. Reality star Kim Kardashian was probably the most successful, accumulating millions with her emojis. At one point during its launch in 2015, over 9,000 people were buying the $1.99 app every second. Her husband, Kanye West, claimed that when it launched, the emoji shut down the app store and made a million dollars per minute. Kim herself claimed to have made more than $80 million, which is a billion rand, through her app ventures. Bonang will be hoping to replicate some of that success and her team are confident of making a massive impact on the local mobile application market. Okay guys, and last but not least on the show, we are going to talk about Tyrese Gibson, not for the first time in the past couple of weeks, because it seems that Tyrese is all over the place when it comes to social media and just ranting and talking, but right now he is not ranting. He has come out to say that the reason he went on a meltdown spree on social media and was talking a lot and was just doing like questionable things was because he was on some psychiatric meds that did not sit too well with his system. And he has come out to apologize to everybody who was affected by the bad publicity he received. And he said he's on his way to redemption and he is getting better by the day. But I don't know, I think with um everything that is going on between Tyrese and the media right now, I don't think it's a good idea for Tyrese to have come out to say, oh, he was on some psychiatric meds that made him, um, you know, go sideways because there's some questionable things happening. I mean, if you've been in the loop, you definitely know that some sites have come out to question if Will and Jada actually gave him five million dollars to help him with his case with his daughter and every other thing and he's just been getting a lot a lot of bad press recently and i think he should have kept that out of the media but he has said it and if you're interested in it here's the video right now what's up y'all it's your man tyrese uh, i just wanted to formally apologize to all of my fans my wife my friends my loved ones and everyone that's gotten a million phone calls after what I now know was some psychiatric meds called Rick Salty. So have I been stressed about losing my daughter? Yes. But after seeing several psychiatrists and therapists trying to help me out, one of the psychiatrists suggested some medicine and it really fucked me up in a real way. And um, I just wanted to apologize to all my fans and loved ones around the world my business colleagues, my partners, everybody who's gotten a million phone calls around the situation. If you know me the way I know you do, you know that something had to be wrong and I was not in my normal mind state. H&M gets some star power for its holiday 2017 campaign. Rapper Nicki Minaj fronts images lensed by Tim Walker, as well as a short film co-starring actor Jesse Williams. The Prince campaign also features models Maria Clara Boscono, Anna Eras and Charlie Frazier. The festive season includes plaid trousers, oversized knit sweaters and a little black dress. Paired with thigh-high boots in addition to embellished pumps, H&M is offering exciting selections for the holidays. Unfortunately guys, we have to go. This is the end of this episode of Fashion 360. I want to give a huge shout out to Shiona Turini who came to the show and talked to me a lot of things about fashion and branding and all that. It was a blast having her on the show all the way from New York. Remember, if you want to keep up with the gist, the handle is at Spice TV Africa and the website is myspice.tv and my personal handle is at the official SO across all platforms. Make sure you get me there. And until next time, this has been Fashion 360. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.
Sunday. Sunday.